Hi everyone, welcome to Puppy Raising with Pet School. I'm Mikhail McCracken and today I'm going to talk about how to move house with your puppy. Um, I got a question inside the Puppy Raising with Pet School Facebook group about this and it can be a really big deal for people and puppies to move house. So I just wanted to give you a few tips around how to do that and how to make it as smooth as possible for everyone. So I, I've moved a few times with pets and it can be really stressful, um, especially with cats. I find dogs tend to take to their new home a little bit easier than some cats do. But your pets are going to pick up on your stress. So I'd recommend meditating daily or doing whatever it is you have to do in that lead up to the move so that you can just keep your heart rate nice and steady and keep yourself calm because moving's a big deal right you're coordinating a lot and there's a lot of stress and it would just be really neat if you could keep that stress away from your puppy and tell your puppy what's going on all right not everybody's gonna buy into that but I personally think that they understand a lot more than we give them credit for. So just tell them what's going on, tell them what's about to happen. Now, should you move your puppy to the new house before you move the furniture or after the furniture's already moved in? This is a tough one. And I think if you had to choose, I'd rather move the puppy last and just leave them at your old house as long as you can, but contained so that they're not gonna run out the door or get in the way or get, stood on um, but ideally what I would be doing is I would be getting the puppy out of there completely so whether you arrange for a friend to look after them for that day or night or a pet sitter you can do pet sitting or I some people offer pet sitting in their own homes I have dogs who come and stay with me so that would be a really good option but if you do go that route, don't just do it on moving day when you're already feeling stressed out. Do a couple of practice sessions, either day stays or overnight stays, just so that your puppy is familiar with that new area. And then bring them home once you've done all the major shifting and arranging in your new home. And then you've got more time to focus on your puppy as well. So before you bring your puppy home, set up their safe zone and this might be, depending on their age, it might be their crate or their playpen or a room, whatever it is, just set it up, get it all ready for them with all their toys and whatever treats they need. And I recommend using all their own bedding. So I know it's really tempting to buy a new bedding or new toys when you move into a new house, but just for the sake of keeping it keeping the transition as easy as possible for your puppy just give them their own stuff and once they're all settled you can go and buy a brand new designer bed for your dog and I'm sure they'll love that too so once you've brought your puppy home <clears throat> go with them while they explore the house and you'll be needed for a couple of different reasons the first reason is just for reassurance so just to reassure them that everything that they're picking up on is okay and it's a new space, but it's all good. Plus, you're also going to want to keep an eye on them so they don't pee and poo all over your house. Um, anybody who's still puppy um, potty training will definitely have to be vigilant of this. But even if you feel like you're through that potty, potty training stage, you should still help your puppy out here by not letting them get it wrong. So once they've investigated the room, pull out your treat bag and start asking them to do some really simple commands in each room. Just sit and watch. You know, those, those two commands are easy and they're fine. And what's going to happen here is you are going to remind your puppy that they should focus on you, that focusing on you is really the most important job for them. Plus, you're building up a nice positive association to that new space. So do that room by room just so your puppy gets used to it gets rewarded for it and just starts feeling a little bit better about the situation now the first few nights in your home can be really unsettling for your puppy and also for you um, when I stay in hotels I always have terrible sleeps and if I stay at a client's like an overnight 
pet sitting clients home, I hear everything. I hear every creak, every car going past, the mice scampering through the walls. I hear it all and I sleep really, really badly. And puppies senses are so your pup senses are so much stronger than ours their sense of smell their hearing their sight they're going to be picking up on things that you can't even register and even being in a new room can be really overstimulating for your puppy so cut them a little bit of slack the first few nights might just be a little bit hard might take a bit of adjusting so what i would do also here is put on um, some youtube relaxation music you can get meditation music or meditation sounds that can last all night and just play something like that so that they don't hear everything else that's going on around them but if you are going to do that don't do it the first night you move in do it for a couple of weeks leading up to the move again we're just trying to keep puppy's life as straight and narrow as possible and just make a really smooth transition there all right, speaking of making a smooth trans transition, keep your puppy's routine as normal as possible in the new house. I know a lot of us are working from home anyway, but if you're not, try to take a couple of days off work just for those first few days, just so that you can help your puppy feel comfortable in their new space. And this doesn't mean being with them 24 seven, it just means, helping to reassure them so if you're working on alone time training and they're in their crate then do leave do leave the room if you're at that point or leave the house for a bit if you're at that point and again just try and keep things as normal as possible now make sure they know where they should be going to the toilet so again your puppy may already be potty trained but they're not potty trained in this new space so i recommend even if they are toilet trained in your current home in your new home go right back to the beginning so take them to their toileting area more often than you normally would uh, put it on a queue go potty or go pee just so that they know what to do when they go to that space and remember to reward them with praise and love and attention when they go in the right spot if they're all already toilet trained you might not have to go right back to the beginning but just I want you to keep that in mind so that you don't get really frustrated and so that the carpet in your brand new house doesn't get completely destroyed now speaking of potty training uh, just before I talk about a couple more points um, I do have my potty training workshops up and running now so I will put the link in this post so that if you are having trouble potty training your puppy click the link and save your seat all right now another part of the moving process if you have an outside garden go and make sure that it's really puppy proof so make sure that the previous owners or tenants haven't been using any rat bait or any sort of poison of any kind um, make sure there's no screws or nails or tools lying around people can do leave some pretty weird things behind cigarette butts go and clean all those up if, if the previous tenants or owners were smokers and check the fence and check it from the puppy's perspective not from your perspective so you might have to go around on your hands and knees and push every single panel of the fence but i've known plenty of dogs who have managed to wiggle their way out of fences and the people their owners didn't even think there was a problem so check it from your puppy's perspective um and what was the other thing about fences oh make sure that you don't have if you've got a puppy who likes to climb or escape make sure there's nothing they can jump on around the fence line that will enable them to get over the fence so some of them are really really good climbers and some of them can do amazing parkour kind of you know movements in order to get themselves over a fence so don't give them an easy way to do that you might need to move some compost bins or whatever it is um, but yeah just check for that and then lastly meeting the neighbors especially if the neighbors have dogs if you can i would recommend arranging with your new neighbor to meet you at the local dog park or or just a local area that's neutral and then getting the dogs to meet there 
And then that way, when they get home, they'll remember each other a bit better rather than having some sort of turf war along the fence line on day one because if they do it on day one it's probably not going to get any better it's definitely something that you need to manage and hopefully your neighbors will be on board with that because they don't want their dog running up and down the fence line barking and they don't want your dog doing that either so hopefully they're nice enough to just help you out with with that initial greeting all right, well, that's it from me. I hope you found some of those tips really useful. If you are moving house, good luck. Try to keep your stress levels under control. And yeah, I hope you guys have a lovely afternoon. Thanks for being here. Bye.